It's a scene I've seen so many times. And this time, it's me. Marylander Joan Vassos is talking all things romance and making history as the first golden bachelorette. Like it represents a whole, like, millions of people that are in their 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s that are in, like, this second half of their life that you know, deserve to find love. The 61-year-old private school administrator from Rockville says she's ready and not holding back. You can have fun in the journey. It's not embarrassing. It's not, you know, undignified that it's it's perfectly fine. In fact, you deserve it. Absolutely. And I do want to look back for a second, just at the last season. It was pretty emotional. I don't want to leave our journey. I'm going to be a parent. I hope I don't. I gotta go home to my kids. I mean, you talked about you left early to deal with some family matters, but I do want to read something that stuck out to me. You said, my heart got a little fixed from Gary. He's helped with the journey because as you get older, you become more invisible. People don't see you anymore. Where was your heart at heading into this season? Yeah, that's a really good question. And I, I said that in the limo as I was leaving. And it just blurted out and it was just the way I felt. I had no idea that that resonated with so many other people, but it did. And as you get older, you're expected to kind of take a backseat, that you're supposed to now be in a support mode. Being on The Golden Bachelor actually kind of cured me of that feeling. I went to that house and I met these 21 other amazing women. And when I talked to them, I thought, well, of course you deserve, you know, a second chance at life and you deserve love. And why would I think that was true for them and not for myself? And I think a big part of that journey, you were married for 32 years. You lost your husband to a battle with pancreatic cancer. What do you think he would say to you just about this new chapter in finding love again? You know, he, right before he passed away, um, gave me his blessing. He called me over, he was laying on a sofa, he wasn't really even able to stand up anymore. And he said, I need to talk to you about something important. I don't want you to stop living. I want you to find somebody you deserve to have love and to live your life a full life after I'm gone. And I said, no, 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 I'm not having this conversation with you. You're not going anywhere. And he was like, okay. And it was the best gift he could have given me. After maybe around two years after he had passed away, I started thinking that I did want somebody else in my life. And I loved being married. And I missed that feeling of having my best friend live in my house with me and planning a future with somebody. So, um, you know, I, I feel like he was kind of on this journey with me. Actually, I felt him with me and I knew that I had his blessing and that was really important. Yeah, and also on this journey is your family. I love seeing the clips yeah. with you and your kids. What was their reaction when you're saying, hey guys, we are doing this again? It was a little easier for them to accept Golden Bachelorette than it was to accept Golden Bachelor because Golden Bachelor was like unexplored territory. They did really have strong opinions about me kissing men on TV and about fantasy suites. So other than that, they were okay with it. They really are like, I think they're, I need to warn them before I kiss anybody on, on TV that they should close their eyes. All right, kids, you have your warning, but now I just have to ask, who's Joan's type of guy? I'm a little on the shyer side, so I love having like that person that walks into a room and feels comfortable immediately. Looking for somebody that wants, you know, has a sense of adventure, ready to travel. I really want a gentleman in my life. The men on this season, they were really good matches. Ooh, okay, so we have some good matches in the mix. Now, I know you can't spoil anything for us, but is there any moments that really stood out to you for this season? We go to one date that they've been trying to do for years. We got to go to Disneyland, which was so fun. Um, we got to go to Vegas. Vegas is always a good time. I had a great time doing the dates. I think they're going to be really good viewing, too. We are excited to just take this journey with you. Now, before Thank you go, you. you're wearing orange. Are you an Orioles fan? What's what's going on? I am so I'm a Marylander, so I kind of have a lot of teams. I'm an Orioles fan. Okay. I'm also a Nats fan. I love the Ravens and I love the Commanders. So I'm all, all Maryland all the time. All right, Joan, I'm rocking with you. We love to hear it. All right, did you enjoy that story? Well, if so, don't miss out on other great content posted daily. Subscribe to us by clicking that circle and start watching the latest news and weather right here on YouTube.